and all those suppose like curmudgeons are like, ah, what? I only like meat. I don't want curmudgeons. Holy cow! I can't tell the difference. There's a reason they call him the Whopper, <laughs> the Impossible Whopper. It's impossible Whopper. It is an impossible Whopper from the <laughs> Walt Twins. From the Walt Twins. I say go get yourself mm -hmm. a Whopper from Burger King. I can't believe the Walt Twins. They're right there. That's one yeah. of them. That's the That's other one. one. Well, we're back at it. We're back at food reviews. And uh, you know where we're at. It says in the description below. We're at Burger King. We're back at Burger King. Is all oh, I'm we're back. Say. That's all. <laughs> Boy, we're I back. went off on we're a back tangent. At <laughs> what else is new? Um, Adam's going for his, like, his eighth master's degree. It's my second. It's only my oh, second master. So the good degree. news about his second is that's one for each. So it's like I have a master. Adam has a master. Sure, we'll, we'll say like that. I have a master's in educational leadership, uh, and I'm working on a master's in my other love, which is history, right now. However, if they had a master's in YouTube, I'd be getting that one as well. Yeah, we'd probably have a lot more subscribers. Oh! Burn! <laughs> that's okay though. Yeah. We are excited to take this Wall Twins brand to the next level. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hopefully you enjoy what you see, especially some freakishly identical twins typically eating food. Although this year we do want to expand a little bit yes, we on other food items as well as maybe some product reviews. We've said that in the past. And this time we mean it! <laughs> well, we've had some products we've reviewed and it just, it's been kind of like... Eh. If, you're, if you're a YouTuber, you know sometimes there's videos you're like, it's not worth it. It ain't yeah. worth it, Betty. Nothing but the best for our fine folks. But, we're back at it and more importantly, we're back at Burger the King. King. Now, what we got here is something that has been out for just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I have not yet tried the Impossible Whopper and I will say, Burger King, you've been brilliant with your marketing because uh, those commercials have made me want to come and try it. All those supposed like curmudgeons are like, ah, what? I only like meat. I don't want curmudgeons. Wanna... Holy cow, I can't tell the difference. Well, so, we're going to see if we can tell the difference. I want to say, I'm actually excited about this one because um, I'll tell you what my yes, thoughts were the first time after we try this. I want to get Adam's reaction. But, and I did not get it with the cheese the first time. Okay, so, so we got this one with cheese. The only thing we took off was the onions. We know we like to try things na all natural. This time we did not. So uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's take a look under the hood take first and foremost. First. And let's take a look at this story from another angle. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Now, all things considered, it smells exactly like the original Whopper. This car is filled. The meat, the meat looks a little dry. I'll be honest, kind of expected that because it is plant-based. A bunch of lettuce, like a we're bunch not of lettuce. enough plants in the burger. All right, but that is what we're dealing with here. Uh, and I'll be honest, it looks, uh, Quite frankly, exactly like I figured. It looks like a veggie burger. It looks like a veggie burger. Smells oh, like a Whopper. So, here's what we're gonna do. Let's get the famous Adam cut. We asked for a knife. This thing is massive. I got the knife. Oh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. That's a knife. That's a knife. Free, free. Okay. I know I can do this. I can see it's crooked. All right, go ahead. He's putting a practice line practice in it. This cut. That's looking pretty good. My cut or the burger? It the was, and then I took a turn. He took a turn. Then all of a sudden, Ooh. I had a perfect cut. I had it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. And then at the last minute, she turned on me. And this actually looks pretty appetizing right there yeah this thing's gonna get a little messy in the car so let's hurry and eat this bad boy so this is the impossible whopper with cheese from burger king i'll eat to that cheers okay we normally get your thoughts first. Do you want my thoughts? Since you already have yeah. it, or? Yeah, let's take a, another bite here. You got a little schmutz on my face here. So here are my, here's my thoughts. Right, okay, right there. I was just gonna say, I don't taste the flame broiled. And then literally as I swallowed the talk, I taste a little bit of that flame broiled. This is a really good burger. If you're deciding to go plant-based and you're gonna have a splurge day, 
because you got to remember this has all the calories and everything like that. But you're you're going plant based, so um, no. this is a good this is a good like cheat burger if you're plant based or if you just want something that's a little on the healthier alternative side, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I am really really impressed. With I this I I really what a great burger. This is good. So when I tried my first one, I texted Adam, had it, I told him I'm not telling him anything about it because I wanted his raw opinion on his own without knowing what I said. Yeah. And I, like I said, I like the, the first one, I felt I tasted the char for a little, a little better. Um, don't get it here, but still, it's a, it's, it tastes like a burger. So, Burger King's marketing worked because mm -hmm. it got me here based off all those people who were like, oh, it's not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I feel the same way. Like I was still a skeptic. I thought this isn't gonna work. It totally does. Burger King, you nailed it. This is a great burger. I'm happy with this overall. This is one of those that kind of turned my mood. I was like, oh, let's go knock out a video. Let's get this done. Let's talk. Let's have fun like we always do. I don't know why I'm tapping on this. Extra <laughs> loud noises for the people. I'm really happy we came into this. This was a good choice. Yep. A good call. Yep. And um, and that but that last taste I had, best bite I've had. Yeah. So far, it was full. It, it's getting full better, better. Whopper. Now, the the meat texture itself is, is a little more bite than the regular burger. Mm -hmm. Right. So, it, so it, which is it's satisfying because you sink your teeth into it, which you know I love. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm gonna take one more little bite here, and and uh, we can wrap it up, buddy. All right, ma'am. So my final thoughts. Wait, are we gonna give this a rating? Yeah. So you'd have this before, but overall scale one to ten, what do you give this burger? I don't even know what you compare it to. Yeah. What um, do you give the, the burger a rating? Obviously, as a impossible burger, it's a ten because it's only one. Okay. Try. Which now we've got to try other impossible burgers. Okay, now we got to compare. Okay. Um, as a burger itself, seven. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna go eight where we where I give like. That's true. If if I'm comparing this to other burgers, I'm with you. I would go seven as well. I wouldn't go any higher. Originally, I was gonna go higher, but you're right. If I'm comparing it to the, the really good burgers, the tens and other things we've had, mm -hmm. this is a seven, solid seven. Having said that, I would come back and order this again. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe this is, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel as like filling, like really like, um, not, not that I get that way. I mean, the Whoppers are big sandwiches. Maybe I it's mean, the beef. There's a reason they call them the Whopper. Yes, this has been out for a, a little while. Um, we're a little late on it, but I'm really glad Adam wanted to try it. And now we're glad. So if you've seen it and you're like, ah, man, when are they going to get rid of this? Go try it before they do, if they're going to. Maybe they're not going to. I, I, I've... I haven't heard for a limited time, have you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I haven't heard anything about it. All I know is that I'm glad I came and tried it. Yep. And I think you should too. Um, that's my analysis. Have you been holding out? Like I was holding out a little bit. I say go get yourself mm -hmm. a Whopper from Burger King. The Impossible Whopper. It's impossible. Whopper. It is an impossible Whopper. From the <laughs> Walt Twins. From the Walt Twins. Anyways, a, let's wrap this up, man. I don't go. know. That was good. Mm -hmm. Short tweeting to the point, but I don't care. That was some good eating. Yep. Did we even discuss why we were doing this? Why are we doing this? Because right? all we do is twin, no mm -hmm. matter what. With that, we bid you adieu and adios. Forget, Forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>